Hi, kindergarten, first and second grade leaders. We are getting ready for July 22nd. We are winding up our series on being a world changer. And this week we're gonna finish by um, helping kids to see um, what it was that Paul was making a big deal about. Why he ended up in prison, why he ended up um, sharing um, with so many people was because Jesus was the center of the story and today in small group they're going to get the chance to practice ways that they would be able to share who Jesus is to them with their friends and family and anybody else they chose to do that with. In your small group time you have some paper you're going to continue, continue your squiggle activity. Wait for my camera to focus. There you go. I drew a squiggle on the paper. Each kid in the small group is going to take turns drawing something to add to it and see what you guys have at the end. If you wanted to today, because it's the last time, maybe you want to encourage them to um, work towards building something specific, like a shark or um, I don't know, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, <laughs> whatever, or maybe even um, a boat, whatever you think is appropriate um, based on the squiggles that you've seen people start. Maybe they, maybe you can encourage them to build something um, with their creativity. We'll move into large group and do a, a last minute to win it game I believe for the summer and um, because our next series we're going to start um, gets us ready to start school and so we're excited to get kids ready to start school. Our new groups will start August 19th so um, get in contact with me if you um, feel like you would like to be in a different age group, um, this is a good time for us to start making those changes. And we'll make those changes on the same day that the kids move into their new small groups. All right, um, then we will teach the lesson about Paul making much about Jesus. In, in Colossians, he, we discover today that Jesus is better than anyone or anything else and um, I hope that through this series the kids have begun to see how how Jesus is good and how Jesus was um, because he was there to save us that um, he would he <laughs> He was the reason Paul went through all that he went through, but not necessarily in a bad way because God was there to, to protect him and, and hold it all together. And so remember Jesus and God are the same, um, are the same and um, just in a different form. And so um, we, can, we can trust in Jesus because he's part of God. All right. If I confused you, I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's, that was not my intention. Then we'll move to small groups and you will have some cards that look like this, as well as some scissors, some hole punches, and some ribbon to tie the cards together for kids. What we want with these cards is we want for kids to be able to go home and go through this with somebody else. This is how they're going to learn to share the gospel with other people. They, um, you may want to, if this is something that you feel very comfortable with, you may want to take time to share with kids how you would share the gospel with somebody, whether you knew them or you didn't know them. Maybe there's a different way you would do it based on who you're with. So um, help them walk through that. Help them walk through these cards because when they take these home, we want for them to be able to um, do, do that with the people all around them. Um, and then their, your memory verse is um, Paul's words to remind us that in the middle of all of those tough things that Paul went through, he knew it was for Christ that for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And so um, he was encouraged and found joy in the middle of tough stuff because he, he knew God was there to save him and rescue him through his relationship with Jesus. 
All right, now you can pray and dismiss. Try to keep your kids close to you as you continue, as before parents come to come in. If you need um, a game or something to fill some time, let me know. Uh, I know kids are getting restless at this point in our summer, but it's good for parents to see us interacting with the kids. Uh, that way they know that when they drop their kids off with us, that we are spending time helping them understand who Jesus is and also that we're helping build a relationship that will help that kid um, know Jesus in a different way. Encourage kids as they leave to share the gospel with three people this week. I think that would be a fun um, challenge for all of us. I thank you guys for everything you're doing. Uh, look for information about huddles coming up as we start the fall. Um, school starts middle of August, so we're not very far from that. And I'm sure you guys are all gearing up for that. Um, teachers, I know you are. Um, thank you for leading. Thank you for continuing to lead through the summer. Um, the relationships you're building with kids are changing lives, and I can't wait to see what God's going to do with that and with all of us in this next year of um, ministry together. Thank you.